What up, YouTube? Happy Saturday. Cheers. So one of my uh, YouTube buddies filmed a bunch of anti-abortion and Christian types. And the shit they say is fucking hilarious. Speaking of hilarious, Cobra's joke of the day. Did you hear about Quasimodo's second job? He, he got a job at a hotel. He became a bellhop. Hear it because he rings bells? Okay. This is just fucking priceless, dude. Get away from my car, you close-minded fucks! Oh my god. So let's take a look at this. Yep, your typical... I see them here in town. They're like, abortion is murder. Stop for a prayer? These people are so obnoxious, dude. They say God created everything, then that must mean that God created abortion. In the Bible, it also says, judge not lest you be judged. Listen to what they say to Courtney. You guys, don't come up to my car. Don't walk up here. Don't walk up to my car. You know, there is no God. Praise Lucifer. Praise Lucifer. Like, what the fuck is this shit? They don't know how to take it. Okay, it's cool for the Christians to shove it in our face, but as soon as we do it to them, oh, you're heathenistic. Get a job, you bum. Mind your business. What's an abortion is that y'all breathe the same air I do. That's the abortion. That's the true abortion. Oh my god, they are literally trying to compare. Oh my god, so dumb. Holy shit. N never forget. They're trying to compare the Holocaust to abortion. Jesus Christ, these people are fucking retarded. <sighs> there is a big difference, these Christian fucks. They were killed because they were Jewish, you ignorant sons of bitches. In some cases, abort abortion should totally be legal in certain circumstances. Like if the woman was raped, your kid's going to come out dead anyways. Maybe some fucking nasty asshole, creepy uncle touched her and you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck that, dude. Right? Narrow-minded people. Narrow-minded people. Mind your business. Mind your business. We believe that the word of God. Yeah, there is no God. There is no God. <laughs> Praise Lucifer. Yeah, Praise yeah. Lucifer. Right yeah, now. I'm furious, right? You wouldn't be wasting your time coming out here getting in people's business. You have no fucking part yeah. to do it. Good luck, y'all. Praise Lucifer. At one point, they were like, God will judge you for this. And I'm like, yeah, but doesn't the Bible say judge not lest you be judged? Hypocrites, dude. Hypocrites and hymns. That's what that is. Not all Christians are like that, but I was like, Jesus Christ, these people are, are fucking mental. And what's worse is they drag their kids into it, and these kids are too immature to understand political issues like this. So dumb, dude. Realistically, I am sick and tired of sickos. The government and the church is telling women what they can and cannot do with their body. And the world's problems on top of it. So all I'm going to do is bitch about it and have a beer, because that's all you can do, right? Before you go off saying you're against abortion, let me paint you a picture. Okay? Let me just paint you a picture. We want to pick a random name. The Stevensons are excited for their new baby. 
But the ultrasound says the baby's going to come out dead in nine months. So, would you force a woman to give birth to a dead baby? Or, in fact, would you let her be more humane about it and just abort it? Now, it's a gross and sad thing to think about, but it's the truth. 